We've been operating the Arctic for the last six years. Our first mission was in 2015, measuring fish stock population density. Since then, we've measured heat, carbon, fluxes, med ocean data, and bathymetry. In 2019 alone, we spent 700 days inside the Arctic Circle, measuring ice edge dynamics right up against the ice edge. We've worked with some amazing scientists, real experts in their field, and been able to collect key data that's really helped them advance their research. The challenges in the Arctic that the sail drone can address are, are very unique. We have, uh, first of all, one of the most rapidly changing parts of the planet anywhere. Uh, we've got uh, diminishing sea ice, for example. We've got big storms. I think every year we've gone out, we've done some wonderful things in the Arctic. You can think of, you know, last year's mission, we were, uh, even with COVID going on, sail drone decided to launch the drones from Alameda go all the way across an ocean through a narrow pass into the Bering Sea and then clear up around through the Bering, through the Bering Straits, through the Chukchi, and all the way over into the Beaufort Sea in the border with Canada. I work on acoustic trawl surveys of fish. Um, that's really just a fancy way of saying that I count fish with sonar. These fish counts, or, or more formally called abundance estimates, are used to manage fisheries. The species I work on mostly is called Alaska Paula. These are actually the largest fishery in the United States. So I started working with sail drone in the Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory in, I think, 2015. I've participated in sail drone missions every summer in Alaska since 2016. Environments like the Arctic are, are really quite remote, and getting people up there in ships is a, is a, in ships is a major undertaking. You know, I think USVs, which are able to work in, in those types of environments um, really have a role to play in, in bringing information from, from really remote environments. So the way that I use cell drone data in my research is, is as part of a suite of tools. What I wanna be able to do with my research is track how much carbon dioxide gets absorbed from the atmosphere and into the ocean. And then after that, what happens to that carbon dioxide once it's in the ocean? So missions have really hit important benchmarks every year that we've gone to the Arctic and collected data. So the first year that we did one of these missions in 2017 and sailed all the way up through Bering Strait, it was really incredible to be able to collect that kind of data, especially from a drone. But in 2019, when we were able to sail the sail drones directly into the marginal ice zone and interact um, with that space sort of between the ocean and the sea ice, uh, that was a really incredible mission too. So one challenge we face in trying to collect any kind of observations in the Arctic is that Alaska and the Arctic Ocean are really a devastatingly big place and they're really far away. And one of the reasons we're so excited to have Sail Drone as a part of our toolbox is because the platform is big and fast. We use the Sail Drone to measure fish distribution and abundance in the Northern Fur Seals foraging area. Northern fur seals are quite challenging to work with because as pinnipeds, they come on land to breed and then they go to sea to feed. And so you're not able to observe what they're doing. And so that's why it was such a big deal that we were able to use a sail drone and an echo sounder on that sail drone to get a better idea of what the fur seal sees when they're out foraging. Their populations have been heavily depleted in the past as a result of harvesting and more recently for unexplained reasons the populations continue to decline. So what really excites me about this project in general is that it, it's given us the opportunity to ask questions that we haven't been able to ask in the past um, and collect specific detailed information that we need to address those questions. And the SEAL drone gives us the ability to collect data we haven't been able to collect in the past because of all these other obstacles with boat time and um, the financial cost of getting a big vessel. I've worked with SEAL drone since about 2017. We did first did a cruise down to Baja, and the next cruise that or the next cruise that we did was going up to the Arctic in 2019, where we did uh, two different vehicles up in the Arctic for over three months. Right now, we really need sea surface temperature ground truth measurements that we can get from sail drone in the Arctic because the way that we measure ocean temperature from space 
doesn't have many observations up there. So most of our observations are in the tropics and up to about 40 degrees latitude. Without these key Arctic observations, we don't know how accurate our measurements are up there to better understand climate change. What excites me most about going forward is, is the partnership that we've achieved. So I really feel like the sky's the limit. We can take things on and we can push limits that no one has done before simply because the cohesiveness of the team and kind of the mutual understanding and shared vision that we've crafted with this.